What's up guys, uh, Joey here. Um, today's video is gonna be about uh, legit checking sneakers. Um, so I did a bunch of investing videos. I did a little bit of a legit checking one, but I didn't get very far into it. So let's get started. So today I have a Jordan 1. You can tell right off the bat, pretty beat up box. Then we have a, this tag. First thing I see that's off. Um, this should be almost like a sticker. It's not. It's just literally just slabbed onto the box. And then for this specific Jordan 1, this is Jordan 1 off white you can see. There should be a, like a window. You gotta flip it up and it should be like, it almost looks like glass, but it's not. It's just like a paper, a see-through, clear. First, second thing, um, they're way too tight in the box. Uh, it's a size 11 and they're literally filling the box up. That should not be the case. I did take the paper out for display, but let's go over the box first. So, where's my black light? Um, right here, the, you should be able to go like this with it without moving it, which you really can't. It should go back and forth the other way without picking it up. And then there should be a, um, a, um, what's it called? Control, um, there should be a control sticker in here, the YDR I showed you guys on the one box I had, I believe. Let me see if I have a box. They haven't been actually doing these lately, but um, let me see. I will do the my personal off white dunks to compare to. I know it's not the greatest comparison. I have a buddy with the real pair, Carter. He was on here. Um, yeah, it's not in here. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So in a lot of uh, Nike boxes, anything from Jordan's dunks. There should be this little sticker, and it should have like little ridges through it. You won't be able to see them, but you can feel them. And they they almost look like waves under the black light. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. But um, yeah. So that's definitely one of the first things. But now the I wouldn't depend on the quality control because. They're not putting it on a lot of shoes now, which is very odd, but I think they're just switching it up. Favorite personal, by the way. Clean. Um, so back to the, so the shoe, there was no window, no cruise control. These didn't pop back and forth. Uh, did the tag have a stamp? A, a stamp on the tag or the bottom corners is also common. But there's not. Um, but the box is pretty damaged. And then there also should be a red code on the lid somewhere on the bottom. As there is in many Jordan 1 boxes. Yeah. So this is, I think one of my starfish boxes has it right here. It's just numbers and a few letters in red. So that's one of the biggest things. Um, and then the shoes. So, right off the bat, size 11. I mean, they're not horrible. Uh, I have a, a shoe tree in here. So, um, so the zip tie actually broke. But, the toe box, it's not any, like a normal Jordan 1 toe box, but it just doesn't feel right. Um, I'm not trying to explain that one. So, biggest first thing I realized, um, the back tab is like crooked, like you guys can kind of see. And then the b black light is key here, um, if you don't know. So, on this side, it's actually pretty good. Like there's no uh, bad, let me turn off the light here. There's no bad marks here. There's no like bad stitching. On this side, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a Nike swoosh on this side, which there shouldn't be. This should just be like the off-white writing. And the off is over the 
there's certain measurements for that. I couldn't tell you what it is, but there's like a swoosh you can kind of see, like just starting to get carved down. And that was one of the biggest giveaways for me. And then lastly, um, one that's weird, but it's key. I would start looking for is the insole stitching. It should be almost nearly perfect. And then the colors are sometimes off. Oh yeah, and the R and the D, if they're not touching, they're 80% of the time fake. These are, but yeah. Let me see if I can get these insoles out. It's gonna be a tough one. This happens every time. They're so hard to get out, but um, the insole stitching should be nearly perfect and they should be lined up. I, can, I don't know what it is with these used insoles being able to come out. Cause this pair I received used, um, some guy tried to send it to me and it was Gua, G-U-A. So I just told him, hey, I'll send it back. Um, if you pay for shipping and he never paid for shipping, but he's not losing much money cause it looks like he got him from like DHK. That's a very bad fake. Um, or GUA. So overall, on so a lot of Jordans have specific qualities. So for sure, definitely the window on the box here. It looks like they tried to engrave it, but just never gave it a window. Um, the quality control sticker. That's not key, but that's what something to look for. If it has ridges in it, it's probably real. And then these should like push in, not be all the way in automatically. And then on the shoe, that little Nike thing shouldn't be there. It's like carved, you guys can kind of see it. It's like carved up. Um, but, I mean, this is this is a pretty bad fake. I mean, I've seen worse. Even the writing is like slanted. Look at that. It should be just straight across. Yeah, that's not great. But, yeah, so I would recommend the black. The black light's key. This is obviously a dope shoe. I mean, not because it's fake, but real pairs. My Carter has a pair. He wears them. He's holding them. But uh, so ever since Virgil's passing, they shot up even more. I think they're at like 27 now. It's a ridiculous shoe. But they are getting faked a lot. Um, a lot of Jordan 1s have the same qualities besides like the box lid. Like the some of them on the inside, instead of having, like they'll have the inward swoosh. And then in stitching behind it, they'll have a backward swoosh. I don't know why, but I mean, this is a pretty bad fake, especially when the zip tie I was trying to move it and it was breaking. And then the stitching here is just horrible. This is really flimsy. I guess most Jordans flimsy a little. This is really flimsy, but I would, here, let me get my Bordeaux. This is one of my personals. Like it's, it goes back and forth, but not like, as much as the last ones did. And then the toe box, well, there's a shoe tree in it, but the toe box pops right back up. And then the bottom's a little more firm. And then right around here, yeah, you should not be able to do that. Like pinch it back and forth. Like these are, you could, it's slightly, but it's not a difference. So, <clears throat> so I'd recommend the black light, check for the quality control uh, sticker. Um, Check for the R and the D touching. Uh, sometimes on the late, if it's a DS, the used pairs are a little harder to tell, but if it's a DS pair, I'd recommend um, checking the lace bags. You can tell by the, let's see, do I have lace bags? I do on the patent breads. You might want to go check out this video. Um, very cool shoe, couldn't wear it personally. I thought I could, but I'm not a big patent guy unless it's the bubble gums. I love those bubble gums, but um, back to it. What was I gonna, oh, the lace bags, yeah. Uh, they're pretty easy to tell with, uh, um, what's it called? Fakes, they're a little more round. These are a little more oval. oval. And then obviously the smell, smell is crucial. Like those, these smell like, like a salon, I think. And then these have like a, I don't even know how to explain it, but you know, if you know, um, the smell of a Jordan 1, a Dunk. But very clean shoe on the patent breads. So I would just say stay safe. Um, try to 
avoid buying pairs that are you're suspicious of. Um, check checks a great app, but I've heard they've had some problems lately, so be careful with that. Thank you guys for watching.